Hello, my name is Amit and I'm going to show you a number of things you can do with a magic circle. A few of them are very obvious and a few of them are less obvious. So, let's start lying on the back. We're going to put the circle between the inner thighs. Always make sure you're comfortable. Make sure the feet are quite close together. And then you squeeze the circle. Now whenever we use the circle in Pilates, we want to use it to enhance the work of the core and help the moving part, the one squeezing the circle, connect with the center. So not to isolate it, but to connect it with the center of the body. We can do something similar, but then with a longer lever arm. So we put it between the ankles, which is a bit more challenging. Stretch the legs out and do gentle squeezes. That makes it quite challenging, definitely when you have to talk and do it at the same time. The same thing can be used while doing the hundreds. Just a gentle squeeze on the circle, trying to get the inner thighs to connect with the body. And the same thing in things like double leg stretch. which makes it, again, quite challenging. We can enhance small movements like chest lift. Again, the idea is not to make the arms strong while doing the movement, but to help find and connect with the center of the body. And the same thing can apply to the roll-up. So with the effort Oops, with the effort of the abdominals, we can gently squeeze on the circle. And it also makes it a little bit more challenging because we tend to open the arms away from each other and the circle reminds us not to do that. So the range can be a little bit more difficult. I'm going to turn around and do some sideline stuff. Just getting there can be a little bit tricky. Okay, we want to make sure that it's not on the bone of the ankle, but just above the bone. We can do side lifts while squeezing the circle just a little bit. We can keep the legs where they are and squeeze both legs together on the circle, it's not going to be a very big movement at all. Or we can keep the lower leg down, work just the top leg, or try to stabilize the top leg and work the bottom leg towards it. It's all going to be quite small and definitely quite challenging. I'm going to transition to the front, and that's definitely quite tricky. So I'm just going to do a little transition here. Oops. Here we go. And then when you squeeze the circle, you also work your gluteals and your hamstrings just to hold the legs up. And if you were to stretch the legs out, that would be even more challenging. We can also take the circle and work one leg. So you just have to find the placement and squeeze the circle. And again, it doesn't look like much, but actually it's a very challenging exercise. I'm going to go to the high kneeling position and show a few things that would be maybe more obvious that you can do with a circle. Squeezing the circle in front of you. Remember, it's about finding the relationship between the arms and the body and not just pumping the arms as hard as you can. The same thing can be done with the arms more in front. And to add challenge, the arms can go overhead. And to add variety, you can move between the different positions while pulsing. 
And as you pulse the circle, the pulses go right into your core. So you constantly have to stabilize the center of your body while moving the arms around. We can use the circle for very straightforward things like bicep curls. And when we do that, we're going to pay attention to the alignment and the placement of the body and to the same thing at your side. And we're going to pay attention to the alignment here as well because the shoulders tend to roll forward very much. Another obvious thing you can do with a circle lying on your back is use it to enhance your stretches. And try not to pull on the circle too hard because these circles are not going to last very long. If you're going to pull very hard, just use it very gently to help you find the stretch. And you can do the same thing going over to the side. Again, just because reaching to your leg can be quite awkward and using the length, the extra length provided by the circle can make it a little bit easier. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed the demonstration and hope you will enjoy your magic circle.